Good day. Welcome to Partakers Wednesday Worship on the 14th of September 2011. Let's start today with a prayer of thanksgiving and joy. O oh God, great and wonderful are you, O Lord, who is like you. None can compare to you. You are beauty and holiness and bright in majesty. As we come now to worship you, we acknowledge you are the Almighty One. We thank you that we can worship you. Amen. Our first Bible reading is from the Old Testament. It's Psalm 3, and it is read today by Anne. So over to you, Anne. Psalm 3, a psalm by David when he fled from Absalom his son. Yahweh, how my adversaries have increased. Many are those who rise up against me. Many there are who say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But you, Yahweh, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry to Yahweh with my voice, and he answers me out of his holy hill. I laid myself down and slept. I awakened, for Yahweh sustains me. I will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who have set themselves against me on every side. Arise, Yahweh, save me, my God, for you have struck all of my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to Yahweh. Your blessing be on your people. Our New Testament Bible reading is from Mark chapter 4 and verses 35 to 41. That day when evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious storm came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were terrified, and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. This is the word of the Lord. Let's be thankful to God for it. The Bible spot today comes from the thoughts by a friend of mine, Jim Ellis, and he is sharing some insights about worry and fear. Over to you, Jim. Hi there, this is Jim Alice. I have the opportunity to share a few thoughts about prayer and faith. Possibly you're going through a time of trouble, a time of maybe discipline from the Lord. Or maybe it's a time when you have many questions flooding through your mind. Does God really care about me in my present situation? What's God going to do with me in this situation? I want to know. And yet, of course, God doesn't let us know everything that's going on in our lives or where it's all going to end, except to know that it will end favourably, because God loves us so much. But will Jesus keep us safe? When we look into the Gospel accounts of Jesus with his disciples, he's always there when they need him. On the Sea of Galilee, they are scared of the fierce storm. And there is Jesus walking on the very waves that threaten to engulf them and swallow them up. What were his words to them on that occasion? Just two. It's so important. Fear not. We need constantly to remind ourselves that Jesus is co-creator of those waves that sweep over us. Nothing can happen to his disciples because he loves them 
except he allows those purposes for a reason. They were safe, and we are safe, by his presence within each one of us, kept by the mighty power of God. That's a military term, kept. It means garrisoned around and fully protected. When the disciples were quaking in fear behind locked doors following the resurrection of Jesus, he comes to them. And again his words are reassuring. My peace, my peace, I give unto you. We cannot see him, but he can always see us. Isn't that reassuring? Of course our faith is small, but big enough to remember his words of comfort in the scriptures. How often God speaks comfort to his people, such as in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 17. He says, cast your burden on the Lord, for he cares for you. Throw it off. Don't keep taking it back. He will never leave us alone in any situation, because he loves us so very much. Remember, he's always only a prayer away. So it isn't surprising to know that the devil will do everything he can to take away our peace. Remember, the devil trembles when he sees the weakest saint upon his knees. Is that you? Is that me, the weakest saint? Again, we need to remind ourselves that when we pray, we can only be heard in Jesus' name. It's because we are joined to Jesus that our prayers can be heard and answered. What an incentive to pray, looking for God's kingdom to come as we pray. Jesus spent complete nights in prayer, seeking strength and wisdom from his Father in heaven. We dare not go into battle with the enemy in our strength alone. Let's pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, here we are midweek, and we look to you, Lord, please, to protect us and guard us and keep us in our hour of need and at all other times as well. We are so dependent upon you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we are in your hands. And your hands are big and safe and steady. We thank and praise you, Lord, that we are not alone. At night time, when those doubts come, when fear comes, the sound of something, an unusual sound, or perhaps we begin to worry about certain relatives or situations we're about to face the next day, Maybe a report, a medical report from the doctor, and we're not sure how it's going to work out. Whatever the problem, Lord, we know that we are safe in your hands, that we are protected by a sovereign God, who is sovereign over all the affairs of all the nations. And so whatever our condition is this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time we're listening to this, we just pray, Heavenly Father, that you will be pleased to draw near to us as we draw near to you, and strengthen us, strengthen us with your heavenly armour against the wiles and the craft of the enemy, and even, Lord, against our own foolishness at times, in thinking our own thoughts, which are doubtful and fearful thoughts. Help us, Lord, to rest in the Lord and to wait patiently for you. And so we commit ourselves afresh to you now, and ask you, Lord, please, to lead us, to guide us, to feed us, to strengthen us, and thank you, Lord, that we are safe in the hands of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Oh,
We close with these ancient words. May the love of God the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen. May it be so, Lord. That's all for today. See you next time on Partakers. Remember, cast all your anxieties, fears, and worries onto Jesus. He will help you if you ask.